presentation is going to introduce the concept of paradigms and challenge you to view concepts and situations in various different ways. Um, what I hope that you'll gain from this particular week's lesson is an understanding of the idea that um, a particular concept um, can be viewed in various different ways depending on where you're standing and your perspective. And so throughout the semester I'd like um, for you to be able to take a step back and see if you can view a situation, some of the concepts that we talk about in several different ways, not just the initial way that you um, see an issue or have an opinion on something. So to begin, um, I have a series of images that I'd like for you to take a few minutes to look through. Um, and what I'd like for you to do is, uh, tell, is think about what the first thing you see is when you look at the image that's on the screen. And then take another few seconds and see if you can see an additional image. Each of the images that I'm going to show you are actually um, at least two images in one. So moving to the first image, um, take a look and see what you see first of all. And then once you decide what you see in this image, see if you can see a second image. In this image you should see both a young girl looking away and an old woman looking down. <coughs> In the next image, again, take the time to look at what the first thing that comes across to you and then see if you can take a step back and look at what the other image is. In this image, you see um, a picture of a woman's face. You also should see a man playing a saxophone. Here's a third image. Think about what you see first, and then see if you can see the other image. This image depicts a woman looking into a mirror, and it also is a skull. Okay, finally, this is the final image. How many faces do you see? In this image, there are actually three faces. There are two profiles facing each other, and then those two profiles can actually be viewed as one face facing the front. Okay, so when we talk about paradigms, we're talking about a framework, your personal framework that is shaped by values, knowledge, and your beliefs. It comes from your parents, your culture, your upbringing, um, all of the elements that have created you into the person that you have become today. A paradigm is a worldview, it's a general perspective or a way of breaking down the complexity of the real world. It involves the entire constellation of beliefs, values, techniques, and so on shared by the members of a given community. So how do we develop our personal paradigms? As I said, your paradigm is something that comes from the root of who you are as a person and all of the experiences that you've had in your life have shaped you into the person that you are today. The way you see the world around you is a direct result of the experiences that you've had throughout your life. So you may feel very strongly and have a very strong opinion about a particular group of people, an idea. You may be very liberal. You may be very conservative. You may be liberal about certain issues and conservative about others. All of the things in your life that have shaped you into the person you are today contributed to the development of your paradigm. 
What we're going to do in this class is really challenge some of those personal paradigms that, you've, that you have to this point. I hope that by the end of the semester, some of your personal paradigms may have shifted. I want to finish with this quote from Coleman McCarthy to kind of serve as a guide for us this semester as, as we go through the semester and challenge our paradigms and our personal beliefs. It says, it's too easy only to blame the mil militarists, racists, sexists, and other pushers of violence for the mess we're in. What is harder is self-examination, moving beyond caring by looking inward to ask the personal question, what more should I be doing every day to bring about a peace and justice-based world, whether from across the ocean or across the living room? So I want this to be a challenge to all of us to really take stock into what we're doing in our personal lives to make a difference in broader society. That concludes this presentation.